talked a, we talked a little bit in uh you know after Patrice died it was just because I, I know how close he was to you and I love and, and yeah I mean it was just so can I, 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 tell, I, you, can I tell you one Patrice story? sure yeah, please Super Vinny, fast. this is hardly the time or the place for the story <laughs> on a podcast say, on a podcast this story creeps a lot of people out so Patrice did the club in September he had the stroke in late October right yeah yeah in early November now mm-hmm. He comes and does. Who's your, who's your partner? Because I fell in love with your partner at Br- at uh, Bridgeport. Uh, who is De- who? Ron DeCarlo? No, no, your your partner, your partner, your business partner. Yep. My, my business partner is Vicky Brand, my wife. Mark okay, okay. Boy, uh, is the manager up there. Mark, Mark, the, the ex cop. Uh, oh no, that's Derek. You fell Derek, I uh, man, I fell in love with Derek. He's such a Derek good dude, man. man. Tell Derek him I a- tell him I said what's up, man. I I really had a good time with that. Dude. I will. He's a great guy. Yeah. So. Patrice had been writing me about, now I want to hear you stupid family stories for years. <laughs> <laughs> for years. For years. And we're in the green Nobody. Room. As if nobody, want, <laughs> nobody wants to hear your family. Not even people with other families. No, I, I think swear that to, to say? God. I'll tell you what, the first time I met Patrice, within three minutes, I was going to punch him right in the fucking face and take my chances. And um, so anyway, we're in the green room. And I said to him, you know, Patrice, I go, I really don't give a shit what you think. And he knew I was hurt-ish. Yeah, yeah. I go, you know, you're doing that stuff up there, coming in someone's eye and then calling him a pirate. I go, you think that's rocket science? I go, you wrote the Coca-Cola rapist bit, which is one of the best bits I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. I go, but calling someone the pirate, I, I don't think it's that funny. I'm just hitting him back. Right, right, right. Yeah, the weekend's coming to an end. And I'm leaving the green room. And he had said to me he was unhappy that the industry was trying to throttle him uh-huh. and not let him do what he wanted to do. Right. And, um, and I'm going to leave the green room. He goes, hey, Vinny. Hey, what he goes, uh, you know, I'm always riding you. He goes, but I want you to know, I know you're a really good comic. I, I really appreciate you. And he also said to me that he wanted to call Bill Burr because they were not talking at the time. Yeah, yes. And yeah. he said, I call Bill. It's stupid. I love him. And so he told me I'm a good comic, and he told me that he loved Bill, and he wanted to make those amends. Now, did you tell Bill did. that? Pardon? Did you tell I, Bill that? Yeah, I did tell Bill that. I did. And well, so finish the story. I want you to tell me what Bill said when he said that, because I know something about this. Okay. And so, um, so I, I'll do that now if you want me to, because I, mean, <laughs> I told Bill it was after Patrice died, of course, and um, Bill was. It's the first time I ever saw Bill Burr display an emotion that was very deep. Yeah. And he goes, hey, man, thank you for telling me that. And first, he said to me, did he really say that? Because he thinks I was trying to tell him. I said, no, Bill, he said that. He goes, hey, man, I really appreciate that. He goes, I, I love yeah. that guy. He's that big fucking stupid guy. I loved him, and I feel so bad. So he had a very good reaction to it. And mm-hmm. I did tell him. So now with Patrice, he leaves. Now, mm-hmm. we had a running sign, you know, one of those, like, stock tickers. Yeah, 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 yeah. This week, Patrice and him. So that following Monday, we're going to take Patrice off that sign. And we can't for whatever. Yeah, reason, yeah. Right. Derek was telling me this, that they can't remove Patrice's name from the it, LED sign. It won't come off. Will not come off. It's still running. Uh-huh. It's still running. And I, because by the time we got around to trying to fix it, uh-huh. he died. Right. And I said, well, I'm going to turn it around. And I won't even unplug it because I don't want it. To be wrong. Right. So it's a little secret. I walk in, I see the sign. You can see it running. Yeah. You can read it in the rear, in the, yeah, in, yeah. look in to see it. But it still runs. And I love that notion that Patrice is still hanging around the club <laughs> in some way. So uh, it's a very yeah. special moment. It's, it's funny because, um, you know, I mean, you know, Bill, and you know, remember the Bill, the bit that Bill did, uh, the, the way he was punching the muffins? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we were at we were at the Boston Comedy Club, and Bill comes in. It was maybe twelve people at the but this was way after Barry was like fuck the club and whatever. And um, it was the Comedy Village or whatever. Maybe, no, no, or, it was still the that... it was still the Boston at the time, but oh. it was so Bill came in and he did that bit, and I and I was sitting in the back, and I was like, Jesus, Bill, that bit is gonna be amazing. And he goes, You, you think so? I go, man, you know, every time I see you go up there, I think I think to myself, what the fuck am I doing? 
Like, what bullshit am I doing? And he said, that's how I feel every time I see Patrice. Yeah. And, and, I, and, I, and, and I said, and, and I just remember, and I remember them having the fallout because the fallout, you know, the fallout was them on the radio. And and Bill had called, I think, I don't know if Patrice called in or Bill, and he was like, you wouldn't be the comic you are if it wasn't me, and it was just really nasty. And he always loved Bill, and then Bill always, and, and that's why Bill is always like with the benefit and stuff like that, because he, it was just something that they never resolved. And it goes to what you're saying is, man, you know. Life is short. Yeah, Life is you, short. you know, we've we, anything I've, unresolved. The time is the commodity. You know, time is the commodity because without time, you can't do any of the other stuff. So there's no prestige. It doesn't matter about possessions or prestige or, or fame or anything because time is the commodity. And when you get down to it and you close your eyes, you want to be able to say these. This is this is the guy I was and people loved me and I loved them. And I and I took the time to tell them it's it's crazy that, you know, you talk about the first time you've seen Bill have an emotion. It's because these guys loved each other man. they they really loved. And it was a it was such an amazing time because all Attell and Bill and Jim and Keith and Bobby and, and all those dudes and Nick and all those guys were in this place. All of a sudden, whether they were whether they realized they were competing or not, they were. And they pushed themselves so much artistically. I, I don't even know if we're going to have comedy that amazing again. School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.